those other ones are getting pretty big. The colors on this one is just like it said. It's gonna be so nice. I like that color. So watch out who you're going to. And the other one is like twice its size. The other sibling, the white one. They look nice though. Yesterday my parents came and they there was two pigeons that fell into the, one of the pillars at their house. The I don't know, my dad waited a while for my brother to, to cut them out, to cut the pillar open and and get the two pigeons out. At first it was just one, but I guess a second one fell in and then um, that's when they decided that or that's when they were convinced that there was a pigeon in there so they cut it open and that's where I also got uh, my my females here this wild one right here and the other one that's the other checkered female that's sitting uh, on her eggs over there but yeah that's where I got them and so my parents brought the two of them over and here's one of them it looks nice but I mean it's not as nice as the other one unfortunately the other one that fell down the the pillar happened to be the alpha of that flock over there he was the main breeding male so his colors were much nicer. Unfortunately, he was stuck in there for too long before my parents got him out. I mean, he was nice. I seen him all the time. I wanted to catch him so I could keep him too. He had great colors. I loved the beak and the nose. I like how his, uh, he had a lot of, a lot of blue under his checker instead of like the other one where they're more darker I, I've been eyeballing this guy for a long time unfortunately unfortunately he didn't make it so yeah that sucks but see this one seems to be doing fine right there I'm just gonna keep it hopefully it'll breed with with um some of my birds here because I need some bigger birds they're bigger they're bigger than uh, my regular birds because all mines are, are kind of small so hopefully I'll, I'll get some of their genes in um, looks like they got some Homer in them so that'll be that'll be nice to get that circulating into my birds gene pool yep wanted to add two but unfortunately one died so it's only just the addition of one after I've gotten rid of the other ones I mean I, I should have kept the other homer but I mean it just wouldn't pair up it wouldn't try to breed or anything it'll just sit up here all day all day it'll just sit up here <clears throat> not trying to pursue any females or anything so I mean if this is a female that's great I actually don't have a female homer so that would be great so that uh, since I have more males now maybe they'll pair up and get that get that going so yep that's all for now I'm gonna leave this guy out here I'm pretty sure a cat's gonna pick him up if it doesn't then I'll, I'll throw him away but I want them to see that the cats are not friendly and I want them to know to be wary of the cats. So, I mean, he's in plain sight of them. If a cat comes, because I always see cats hanging out like right where he's at, or, or right, right there, or in the back. But then you know I don't want to put him in the back because then they can't see him. But I'm gonna leave this guy right here so that they'll see what the cats do to them, and they'll be more alert when they see cats.
look at that guy's colors down there. That's how the brown the brown babies turn start out. That's nice. A little sneak peek of them. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are.